we gonna keep it short and sweet. Like we said, um, we are working on the next season. My baby came up with a beautiful plan, so we are gonna be shooting that soon. We wanted to start shooting more and, and talking more about the things we we're doing. We felt that like taking risks was a good thing to talk about as we're exploring this beautiful scenery. We'll slice in some clips as y'all can see, but thank y'all for tuning in. What's up, y'all? Hey, baby. Hey. We out here in the wilderness, decided to go hiking with some random <laughs> Why not? They are loving it. It took him a little bit, but now he feels like he's in his element, as you can see. And she been in her element. Yeah, she like, this what I do. All day, every day. <laughs> hey, babe. Hey. How you enjoying this hike so far? I love it. I'm enjoying it. Okay. Y'all gonna see what it's like to take the path. We could take the normal path, but we decided to be extra and we walked through this. And my baby's being a trooper and she's coming with me. Period. So, and you know, they wanted to do it regardless, so. Let's do it, babe. He's trying to follow Bill. Meanwhile, Splash McGee is down here having a ball. Oh, 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 got a little deep on you, son, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you wasn't expecting that. <laughs> He is pissed. He just, he yanked me out of there. What's that, baby? Huh? What's that little cave thing? Let's go see. Now, you know we not your regular black people because normal black people would be like, nope. They don't. Probably something in nature we don't know about. We should probably pull her out. Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop recording for a bit because we it got real. Def yeah, we had to take a little oh. pathway. So we are about to go find the top of this waterfall. I look bad. No, you don't, baby. I got mm -hmm. cotton mouth. Oh well, yeah, we've been trekking through a combination of that, some actual paths, walking through some little woods. creeks and streams and yeah, woods. And uh, we got our pups with us. As y'all can see. Poison oak. <laughs> there was a sign that said that we have not personally ran into any. Uh, but yeah, we are going to start recording again when we get to the top of this mountain and Bye. talk to y'all about uh, taking risks. On, uh, so yes, we finally made it uh, to, made it. to the top of the waterfall. I Hopefully y'all can hear us. Yeah, if y'all can't, then um, but we'll keep it quick and to the point. We said we were going to talk about risks. Uh, taking risks. Y'all have heard us talk about all the risks that we have in our lives already. I mean, from moving over here, we're not going to be fat anymore. What I would say is, um, recently, so a, a good friend of mine, she moved to work at a different place. She now works at Twitter. She used to work at 72 with us. Shout out to Kimber. Shout out to Kimber. Um, and Kimber challenged me essentially to step it up, like in her final two weeks of being a 72 before she did. And I would say a lot of the reason why I felt that on a, like, a personal level like I could do it. It's because I know I've been holding back on a lot of things in the office just from fear of essentially not being who I showed up as I said I would be, you know, like mm -hmm. not being that person that's actually going to get the job done in a way that is satisfactory. It's a little bit of an imposter syndrome. And I mean, that was a vulnerable moment for me to admit like, all right, you know what, I'm going to take that risk and I'm going to step it up. And since I've been doing that, man, it's crazy. I, I told you the other day when I came home, there's happiness, which I've been very happy lately, but recently I've had joy. And that joy just hit me when I started doing that, taking that risk. So that was on the other side of it for me, was coming to that uh, sense of joy. So that's my point. What about yeah. you, baby? Um, I would say kind of what we, um... There's some insects out here, y'all. She's trying to focus I hate, on. I hate insects. Um, I would say... You are a beautiful color. Look at you. Oh my goodness, you are glowing. Thanks, baby. Um... I would say it's the same thing, kind of, you know, I had a little hiccup week, but it was last week or uh, earlier this week where I felt like I needed to do more. And, um, you know, I guess I can say, like, it's a difference between taking a risk and being smart. Uh, because I had, you know, an opportunity to, like, audition for something, 
And you know, thinking about it was a really good opportunity, but I would have, I would have had to sacrifice a lot, like, like a lot. I mean, as in like my job for something that I really wasn't gonna get, like, but get nothing uh, monetary out of. But it was something I, I felt like I needed, but it was also kind of a short way to do it. So it was just like a too big of a too big of a thing, it, wasn't, it wouldn't have been smart. So I, I text him and I asked him like, you know, what you think about it, I'm just about to do it. I'm like, I'm, I was in this slightly like frustrated space where I wasn't inspired no more. Like I didn't, I haven't even wanted to classes and like, just, I feel like I'm just existing out here and not really doing really what I want. And he could be a very well planned out text message response with bullet points and everything. It probably would look like a two-page long response. I love um, talking about motivation, sorry. But it made a lot of sense. And since then, I said, okay, which helped me lead to my decision. I didn't do the audition, um, but I was like, but instead, I'm just going to start just push myself and just keep sleeping. Like, stop worrying about things that I just come out here to worry about. Like, you know, like I'm worried about how to pay the flag and how to get there and if I got gas or if I'm a different thing out of it. And I, I've taken a lot of classes this week. Like yes, I just you have. got up and just went and I just did it and I enjoy it and I challenge myself and I pick myself and I get to class and I be in front and I get in the video and I take center and I'm like period it because it's my time I'm tired of playing with y'all. But um yeah, like I just took that risk, and I felt when when he told me like when he's feeling joy, when he, like, he felt joy yesterday, and I was like, I feel very accomplished. Like I really just did it. Like even after work, like yesterday I went to work, took two classes back to back. Like and then I felt good. I just felt like you know just stepping out, just mm -hmm. taking that leap of like you know. To, so that is uh, yeah. us taking risks. Yep. We're going to keep it short and sweet. Like we said, um, we are working on the next season. My baby came up with a beautiful plan, so we are going to be shooting that soon. But we wanted to start shooting more and, and talking more about the things we were doing. We felt that like taking risks was a good thing to talk about as we are exploring this beautiful scenery. Yeah. Uh, took the dogs with us. It was a good chance to get away, other than using the phone to record this right now and uploading a couple snaps. Just taking a risk. Yeah. So it's not going to taste. No case. Okay. But yeah, we've been pretty much avoiding technology and just enjoying nature today, and it's been awesome. So. Good hike. So that was a good hike. Um, as you can see, she got back in the car and immediately went to sleep. He's still up. They are filthy. Y'all can't tell, but they are. I'm sorry the camera's shaking so much. I'm trying to hold it. Um, I want to go swimming. Oh, we gotta be fine. Let's do it. Jump in the pool. We gotta, what are we gonna do about them? They dirty as hell. They can with So we gotta figure out what we're gonna do about these dogs. We still gotta eat. We still right. got a, an hour drive, 45 minute hour drive home. So, um, thank y'all for tuning in to take risks. I don't, I don't know what else. Man, I don't know, I don't know how to end this. Um, black twist. Nice turning and naughty. They over it. Like we are. Ooh, hit me 